guys, welcome back to Erectile Dysfunction. Today we're going to talk about Europlatus sicore, also known as the Mossy leaf tail Gecko. Got one right here in front of your face and you probably would never guess who is there. These guys occur in the uh, rainforest of Madagascar. Um, they will actually find a tree that will mimic their color pretty well and they'll just use it as their territory. This one seems to really like vines and every night I've had her or every day she'll settle there in the uh, early morning hours for when the lights on just bask the whole day. Because of this people are kind of split down the middle on the husband tree forum. Um, since they're a nocturnal gecko most people believe that they don't need UVB um, but since they bask during the daytime even though it's just sleeping dormant basking uh, a lot of people believe that they, in fact, do need UVB um, to help them with the metabolization of calcium. I'm going to introduce it to them. Uh, we're going to be putting a 24-inch high-output ZoomEd T5 um, uh, 5.0 bulb uh, just to supplement. It'll be good for the plants, too. Uh, currently, I just do the uh, ZoomEd 36-inch LED uh, plant setup. The other thing with these guys is they're nighttime hunters. Uh, this girl right here will hunt a little bit during the day because she is a crazy hungry girl, but they're usually very active at night. They will jump branch to branch. You would never assume that this gecko could blend into a background that well if you first met it at night. Um, they are complete nocturnal hunters. Um, they'll eat pretty much anything that fits between the distance between their eyes, crickets, uh, roaches, uh, she loves hornworms, silkworms, uh, you can even do uh, a lot of the wax moths, raise wax worms up to moths and let them go in there. A few of my friends have had a lot of success with that. A lot of people consider these a pretty upper level, uh, at least intermediate reptile uh, as far as care and husbandry goes. I honestly believe that any reptile is fairly easy as long as you do your research and you cover all your variables. Um, most of these animals that are considered hard just don't rebound from uh, bad husbandry or missing out on certain variables in the, that they need for survival. Um, UVB is a big one in a lot of animals. If they don't receive UVB, they won't be able to metabolize calcium, metabolic bone disease, next thing you know, bones are all soft, they're not able to move properly, and a lot of the time they die from it. Um, it is reversible, but only in its early stages. These guys are actually, the mossy leaf tail geckos are actually sexually dimorphic too. Males will have a different patterning than the females. Um, it's kind of neat to be able to visually tell a reptile apart from the female. Um, I'm used to the day geckos, or I'm looking at femoral pores or hemipenes. So it's nice just to be able to look at something and be like, male, female. As far as caging these guys go, I think that a heavily planted, uh, even bioactive enclosure is a good idea. Um, I personally believe that the least intrusion you make into the cage, the better. Um, I'll mist her a couple times a night and during the daytime once or twice to water the plants and create a humidity gradient. But besides that, I'm not pulling her out and holding her. I posted a video of unboxing her and putting her in the cage, and that has been the only handling she has gotten so far. Um, I believe that for an animal to acclimate, there's really uh, involving them in the stress of being handled and moved around is, is not going to let them fully acclimate. Um, they're going to be on edge, they're going to not eat, and then going to die. Alrighty, guys, that about wraps it up. Stay tuned for our episode coming out next week. Hope to have you here.